mom. Hi, mom. When a bull hunter dies, this is where he would call heaven. Welcome to this week's Archer's Choice. And this week, well, I'm heading west. That's right. You're heading out to archery. Colorado for mule some deer, mule deer hunting. During the rut. There you go. You know, what was really cool is, you know, I was invited. You were not invited. I was invited and you took my invitation. Well, you drew an Iowa tag. I didn't, so I and figured. And that's not my fault. I, I would seize the opportunity. Nice. This week's lucky logo. Delta McKenzie, the best 3D targets in the world. <laughs> Look for the logo, Delta McKenzie. And then the show will tell you what to do with that. Now, yep. you guys head out, you and Z head out to Colorado, yep. meet Brian, full road archery, get busy. Almost like white-tailed tactics for mule deer. Okay. It was unbelievable. I'm not going to say no more. This ain't right. They're, they're, I never seen mule deer like this. I really haven't. They're just out everywhere. You look, you go across these river bottoms, and I mean, they're just popping out left and right. And drive through it, they just stand there, and it just... When a bull hunter dies, this is where he would call heaven. Yeah, we're with the boys from Full Run Archery here, and I'm gonna tell you, first off, I saw the shop and it, it ain't right. Brian and Rick, they invited us out and look at this. Look at this. This ain't right. Okay. I mean, so instead of taking the chance tonight and driving you out to that blind, we're gonna push them away. They will not come back tonight. They won't right. come back. So in the morning with this front, they're gonna bed in here tonight because that's where they like to bed when there's snow. Go bed in there, we get you into the blind before sunup, and the deer will start moseying out to eat. Okay. And that's where you're gonna, that's your best bet. Tonight, all right. I think we'll make it. Hey, you guys know, I mean, look at this buck chasing his doe all the way in. Yeah, we don't wanna screw this herd up. No. And tomorrow I'll come out and they're gone. Oh yeah, I'd be sick. I never, I never seen this. I have, I've never seen this. Chances are they wouldn't be gone, but do we want to take that chance? No, we don't. You know? Yesterday, instead of hunting, we scouted. We got to our spot. There were too many deer around it. That's heaven. And uh, now we're just going to get ready. We're getting in there real early. It snowed. We got about maybe two, two, maybe three inches of snow. They said all oh, those mule deer work back in those cottonwood draws, and then they'll start feeding out to the alfalfa. Well, I remember the ground blinds in the alfalfa, so we got Brian. He's good. We, we know what we're doing. Let's do it. You know, the first morning, sun comes up, and I mean, things are going. We got snow on the ground, and we could we could see deer milling around all in that creek bottom in those cottonwoods and everything. And as the day continually warmed up, we could start seeing those deer filter out, coming closer and closer and closer. These deer were right near their food source. They weren't traveling far. They had food cover and water. And I mean, as long as you control that pressure, you could have a heaven of a mule deer hunt. That first morning, we had deer all around us. We just couldn't get one of those big bucks to come close enough. All of our travels, I think I can honestly say I, I have never seen an archery shop like this, huh? 
Yeah, well, this is out here at uh, Full Rod Archery, and uh, we're out here in Elizabeth Parker area, Colorado, and this is our bow shop. Let's check it out. This place has its own kitchen, a restaurant. How many ranges you guys got? Uh, we got three ranges. We got the, the big downstairs one, we got a little downstairs one. Uh, the big one here, we shoot 20 yards, you can shoot 30 yards over in uh, bigger one for downstairs. And we have an upstairs range where we can shoot 3D and everything else. Check it out. 30 yard indoor range, 20 and 30. Now it even gets better. Now, do you understand? This is all indoors. Check it out. They put these butts on wheels so they can actually, everyone can shoot at the same line and shoot at different distances. Then, <laughs> they have an indoor 3D range. I wish it was near the house. Now, Z and I, the afternoon hunt, we got up in our tree stands, and I mean, we're, we are right in a great spot. I mean, what a phenomenal creek bottom, and we got deer, but you know where all the big deer are? <laughs> where our ground blind is, <laughs> out in the field. It's our second morning here. Yesterday, we sat in a tree stand in the afternoon. We saw some good deer, but most of the deer went, guess where? Yeah, the ground blind. So, but because uh, how we have how, how this blind hat where it has to be is we're not going to sit in the morning because the sun's coming right into it but that will be our afternoon spot but we may not need it because this morning we're going back in a tree stand and i got a good feeling and it ain't gas we just had a hope as we watched all those deer start to come in that they were going to come through to get to the bedding area You know, one of the most important things we've always tried to drive home, and that is, one, control the pressure. Two, hunt with the wind always in your favor. These deer, because they never really overpressure them, because they hunt with the wind in their favor at all times, their approach in and out of the area, we knew that as long as we didn't bump these deer or push them hard, that we could have a consistent hunt day after day after day. We're sitting in a tree stand, right in, right in a phenomenal, I mean, creek bottom, and those deer were piling in to where we were, and they were bedding down, but our ground blind's out in the field. And Z and I are watching all the big bucks in the field. Now, we did have some close encounters, but all the big bucks, are where our blind is. On the second afternoon, Z and I made a decision with Brian. We said, you know what? We're going back to the blind. I wish Vicky was here. Yeah, I know you do. Everybody does. Because it's working ranch, these animals are used to vehicles going in and out of those fields. Brian used his vehicle to either drop us off at the ground blind or get us close to the tree stand. This way, if we did bump any of the deer, they weren't running off. They know it, they're used to it. They just would walk off and then come back in a natural state. You know, when we talk about the rut, everyone thinks white-tailed deer or elk. The reality of it is, if you can hunt these mule deer in either that pre-rut or rut situation, I mean, you're, it's just like a white-tailed deer hunt. 
You find out where those girls are and those bucks are gonna be there. And Brian brought us in at the right time. What did we do? What, what? Growing up, did you ever go to a candy store or a toy store and mom and dad said, no, you can't, you can't do it, you can't have it? <sighs> That's how we felt. We're in the ground blind, everything is right. The wind, everything. These deer are coming out, they're filtering out more and more. The big bucks are on their feet, everything's coming. They're coming this way, what do they do? They walk on the other side where we have no shooting lane, no window, nothing, absolutely nothing. And they're less than 20 yards and Z and I are like, what did we do? What? what? You know, there's times when you almost have that gimme. Well, that buck, he walked, he came, he went to our right. I needed five more steps. That was it, five more steps. I didn't get him. This is probably one of the best archery pro shops I've ever seen. You know, full rod archery, when Brian and, and Rick and all, they described it to us, we had no clue. This shop is unbelievable. Not only do they, they set you up, fit you, they get everything perfect for you, but then they take you on any one of their three indoor ranges. This is why you go to a pro shop, to get that service, to get be fitted and everything. And, and like most archery shops, it's just a great place to hang out and talk bow hunting. It was so nice of Ralph and Vicki to give us autographed hats and shirts. So I'm gonna give Ralph a little gift. That's from Brian Pingle. <laughs> Hi, Mom. <laughs> Hi, Mom. <laughs> well, it's the third morning out, and uh, we're actually gonna go back into the tree stand because we had unbelievable activity yesterday, and hopefully, after last night, all those bucks coming out to that field and they just went to the other side of our blind where we didn't have a shooting lane, yeah, well, we're gonna get even this, this morning. You know, as the light's coming up, we could see deer and they're starting to meander and starting to feed out of the field. And we could see, we could see some of the big deer and they're just going. So I gave a couple grunts trying to let them think, hey, there's a buck in here, he's tending a doe, man, you better come check this out. And we could see that this one good, this shooter buck is going back and forth, back and forth on these does. And well, it's almost time. You know, we're watching all this happen. We got all these other bucks and these, you know, and they're coming and they're milling around. Well, this bigger buck, he had no, he was not gonna let those guys have a chance at his woman.
You know, we watched all these deer and that doe, that hot doe finally, she, she came across broadsided about 40. And you know what? <laughs> he was following. So all I had to do was, well, I let that spider bite. Yeah, I know Brian is flying down some gravel road right now, but let's go get my buck. Yeah, it's a little far back, but there's a stand. Here's the shot. And there's the buck. He didn't go far at all. Spider, baby. This morning was a great morning. Yep, we're out here in Colorado with Full Rut Archery, the pro shop, and the guys taking care of Z and I. Now they wanted Vicky. Don't kid yourself, they wanted Vicky, but they had to put up with me. Sorry to disappoint them, but they sure didn't disappoint us. Check this out. This guy come through checking on a doe, and we had to wait a little bit. He presented the shot. We took it, we let the Hoyt Spider do its bite, and you know what? Hoyt Spider is not just for whitetails. This was cool, job. and you were, you were watching. We didn't know where you were exactly, but uh, you were watching the whole thing, huh? Yeah, I was about three quarters of a mile away watching off the hill over there. I didn't exactly see the arrow go in, but I seen the deer scatter, so I knew you shot. Unbelievable, we can't thank you enough, buddy. Well, I mean, I this was- I you coming out. You know, I, I know you're disappointed it wasn't Vicky. Yeah, I mean, you could go on, see, go on. You've been busting my chops the whole time. Now, now well, watch. We, we like Vicky, too. Yeah. <laughs> next year, next year. Well, buddy, we'll stay it, home and yeah, come out here. She would, too. Don't worry. <laughs> Congratulations on my mule deer. Your mule deer? Oh, well, yeah, it was my invitation. No, it was. They just, they said that because they didn't want you to feel bad. They really, really enjoyed that I was there. Mm, yeah, no, I don't think so. There's probably <laughs> proof that that's different. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> hey, thanks, Brian, everyone at Full Archery for getting out of the house. What a shot, so he guys. Wasn't, so he wasn't pouting the whole week that I was gone. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Brian, we feel, come on, buddy. You know. <laughs> this week's lucky logo. Delta McKenzie, the ultimate right. 3D target. If you the best to, in the world. If you happen to see the lucky logo of Delta McKenzie, you need to log on to archerschoice.com. Click on the lucky logo button, fill out some information, and someone's going to win a Delta McKenzie Target and some other great stuff. 
Next well, week? Next week, we're heading back up to Alberta, bearing down with Big Bear. Big Bear country. Yes, right. ma'am. some big bears up there too, right? Yes. All right. Hey, thanks, Brian, again, Full Red Archery, for getting him out of the house. We appreciate nice it. Nice shot, guys. And thanks for watching this week's Archer's Choice. We'll see you next week, same time. Same channel. Right here on, on the, the Archer's, Archer's Choice. Choice. And really, they just said that so you felt they you didn't, didn't feel bad. They didn't want you to Brian, They wanted me. Wah, they really. Wah, they, wah, wah. <laughs>